Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to flush my manifold. And everybody does this differently, but you'll do whatever your preceptor says. I like to start from left to right, okay? Actually, not really. I like to cheat and let the contrast run first because it takes the longest. It's thick, viscous, okay? It depends on, there's two different kind of contrasts, ISOVU, Omnipake, you know, and they have different osmolarities, different thickness. So while that one's gonna drain, watch. I turn it where it'll drain out the end of my port. You see it coming down. Yeah. At the same time, I'm gonna turn this towards the patient. I'm gonna turn my pressurized flush on. And at the same time, it pushes heparinized saline through. And I'm tapping, see all these bubbles, see them? I'm beating here so they don't get lodged here. Tap, 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 tap. Never tap on the bridge. You don't want to dislodge the transducer. Tap, tap, that's beautiful and flushed. I'm turning it off. Now guess what? Both of these lines are just flushed. All right? The heifer, I mean the saline is coming, excuse me, the contrast is coming back. Tap, 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 tap. See those bubbles that were lodged there? You don't want bubbles. That's right, we don't want bubbles. All right, then a lot of people back in the day used to do a wet to wet connection. I just want y'all to understand what that is. I turn my um, pressurized saline on real quick. I dribble a little bit out of that and I do a wet to wet. I'm trying to avoid bubbles. Right now, I mean, not a lot of people do that. There's no difference in me doing that versus me doing this and then letting the pressurized tap. Pressurized tap and I suddenly better do the work for me. This is where I take my towel, I hold it up, I take the FEMA stats because they mind it. I beat. And I'll let it do the work for me. Turn it back on, fill it up. Now we will have little bitty baby bubbles. We're not worried about those. We're worried about the big daddies, okay? All right, so now this is flush. This is ready to rock and roll. The only thing that has not been flush is your lace port. But in theory, you can't draw back off of this, uh -huh. okay? All right, so this is your extension tubing. Excuse me, this one right here. It gives you a little more extension between you and your patient's access, okay? So feel free to go ahead and touch that too if you want to, all right? So now this is ready to rock and roll. And when your patient comes in here and is draped, you tell your circulator, I'm ready, let's walk. You carry this, they carry that, and you walk over to the table, okay? Questions about flushing and prepping the manifold? All right, okay.